Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. If you're investigating e-commerce stores, you may have come across Shopify. And if you're investigating Shopify, you're probably wondering what your store website will look like when it's all done. So let me give you a quick look at Shopify design themes, which are the foundation for the look of your online store. So if you want to check out the Shopify themes, you need to go to the Shopify theme store, and that's easy to find at themes.shopify.com. And that's where I am right now. And if you scroll through here, you'll see some of the themes that are available. And notice at the top, they do have uh, free themes. And they have premium themes. So Shopify has designed a number of themes that they give to you for free for use on your store website. So if I click on free, it'll show me only the free themes. And there are about 20. And the free themes tend to be a little bit more simple. But most of them are perfectly suitable for most e-commerce websites. And I'll be showing you some of the features of a free theme and a premium theme to give you an idea of what's available in terms of features and overall design. One of the things I love about Shopify is the design themes are excellent. So people can easily create a site with Shopify and give it a really cool look using these design themes. One of the reasons the design themes are so great is that Shopify allows third party designers to get involved in designing these themes so they can sell their themes on Shopify's website. So as we scroll through these themes, you can see prices on the bottom right hand side, like here $180, $160, and then some of them will say free. In total, there seem to be over 100 themes, and like I said, there's about 20 or so that are free. And you can find Shopify themes outside of the theme store. For example, if you were to Google Shopify themes, you're going to see the Shopify theme store and other sites like Theme Forest or Template Monster. And if we go to Theme Forest, it says there's 102 Shopify themes there currently. Uh, you see some of them are under $60. You will want to check reviews on the themes overall in their support before you purchase a theme. Chances are you're probably going to get better support from the themes that are in the Shopify store because they're closely linked to Shopify and also probably more widely used. So you're more likely to get uh, better results, although I can't say I've tested any themes uh, from purchasing elsewhere. So I want to highlight a few different themes for you real quick just to show you some of the different features that you can find and the difference between free themes and the premium themes. So this first one is called Minimal and this is supported by Shopify. So if you scroll down here, you'll see this theme is officially supported by Shopify. And again, it's a free theme. Most themes have different styles included. So this one has three different styles and they have names. And once you install this theme or any theme, you can quickly switch between the different styles even after your website is live. So I'm going to click view demo on this theme, which you can do with any theme in order to uh, view it live. So this theme is called minimal and that's exactly what it is. You can see it's pretty simple white background with clean lines and a lot of extra space. Nothing's too crowded. It has a home page slideshow, which most themes have, and some of them have different features within the slideshow. This one's pretty basic, which you're going to find within most of the free themes. If you scroll down, you'll see the featured items on the home page and a footer. If I click on one of the items, it opens a product page. So one thing you want to pay attention to when viewing Shopify themes is how images are handled. This one, when you click on it, it zooms in a slideshow. So you can close that and then you can click between the different thumbnails. Some of the themes I'll show you will handle images differently. So here's a product page. You can choose a size and uh, click the order now button. Looks like we're in a different language right now for some reason. One thing I should point out is the cart is usually going to look the same once you get to the checkout stage because that's handled by the Shopify you know, shopping cart. So it's not going to look too different um, with the different themes. There may be different coloring and styles, but overall the cart looks the same in terms of the pricing and layout. So that's minimal. And if we go back to the theme page, you'll see this little smartphone view here. All the design themes on the Shopify store are mobile responsive, as far as I know. So they'll adjust to look good on smaller screens, like on smartphones and tablets. And the shopping cart actually adjusts. It's also mobile responsive, so it's really easy for customers to check out on the smartphone. If you scroll down on the theme page, you'll find reviews, so make sure to check those out on uh, the different theme pages. The next theme I want to show you is called Colors, and it's a premium theme, and it costs $180, and it's supported by a company called Small Victories. 
So if we look at the live demo for this colors theme, you can already tell it's a little bit more advanced in design, a little bit flashier and uh, still clean and modern, but just a little bit more advanced in, in the design. As I scroll down, you see there's this large image. There's no main menu, so it's real clean up top with just these uh, images, these icons up in the right corner. There's a cart and search icon. And then the menu is actually these three lines over the top left. So it pops out a vertical navigation on the left hand side that you can then close. So that keeps the overall look very clean. If I scroll down the home page, I'll see some products, product categories actually featured here. Here's the entire catalog, which you can sort by the different categories. There's a little hover action. It turns green a little bit when you go over the um, products. There's some more on the home page. Uh, let me go ahead and click on a product so we can see what that looks like. And that's unique too because instead of opening another page, when you click on a product, it just scrolls you down uh, to the information for that product right on the same page. So I can click this X to close out and go back. So it's a really seamless and kind of interactive experience uh, searching for products on, these diff on this home page. So you'll notice even the product description is a little bit more stylized with this circular add to cart button. So I'm going to select the material. Notice the image changes when I select a different material. Similar to the free theme, you can click through the different images. So I'm going to add to cart. Notice the cart opens a little bit differently, kind of like the menu, only on the right side. And if I click checkout, it takes me to the standard Shopify checkout page. So the cart can actually be different depending on the theme you're using, but the checkout is always going to be fairly similar. And I want to fly through three other premium themes real quick just to show you some other features. This one's called Pipeline, and it's supported by Cork9. So this theme looks a little bit more traditional at first. It's got the logo and the menu uh, up at the top. One thing I want to point out is this menu here that opens really large. Uh, this would be known as a mega menu where it opens uh, as a sub menu, but it's showing a lot of different items and it's full width on the, on the screen. So this is a really great way to show your visitors all your products or all your product categories in a really accessible way. So they just scroll over shop and they can get to any of your products real quickly. So here's one of the product pages. It looks pretty standard, but the one thing I wanted to point out is that they have a slideshow for the product images rather than little thumbnails that you click. And this one has no zoom function on the images. And that image is pretty large, but I'm actually using a lower resolution on this video just for the sake of the video. So there are different ways to make sure your images are sized correctly. The next theme I want to show you quick is called Masonry. It's a $150 premium theme and it is made and supported by Clean Themes. And there's just two things I want to point out about this theme. It has this left menu which is always there and gives you quick access to everything on the site. This little arrow pops up a welcome uh, text that you can customize and you'll see there's a store where you can go through all the product categories and collections and um, access them very quickly. You can click about which kind of goes to all the informational pages of the site. And if you click on one of the product categories it pops up all the products on the right hand side but this left menu stays there so it's a really convenient kind of table of contents for the site that's always available. And the other thing I want to point out on this theme is the quick view. So when I scroll over one of the product images, you see this little quick view button pops up. And if I click it, it opens this little light box with all the product information. So it's a quick way to get people to your product details so they can add it to the cart without really opening a new page. So it's really fast. And it looks like people can use these arrows to kind of scroll through some of your different products. And the last theme I want to show you is called Icon. It's a $140 premium theme that is made and supported by Underground. And there are a few cool features on this theme that I want to show you. You can already see the uh, slideshow that's going through automatically. There's a sticky header or a fixed header. So when I scroll down, the header remains at the top. You see some featured products on the home page. And if I scroll over the top menu, You'll see it also has the mega menu I talked about in a different theme. So you can access a lot of things quickly. And if you scroll over shop, it even has 
uh, images of different products you can immediately click on. And then you click on different categories right from the shop menu as well. So you can probably just feature different products here. You also notice this little top bar at the top, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's kind of nice to be able to put something up at the top, like a promotion that's going on, just a single line of text. And even though it's small, a lot of people will uh, have their attention drawn to that and it can help you sell a specific product or just uh, highlight a promotion in your store. Going back to the home page, there's a few other features I want to point out. Like the parallax scrolling, you see how this image has a parallax effect. Another cool feature is Instagram. So it has a built-in Instagram uh, widget on the home page. So you can probably just put in your Instagram um, account information. And it's going to create this uh, cool design highlighting your Instagram pictures. And of course, if you don't have Instagram uh, or aren't using Instagram, you can just turn off this feature on the home page. And if we go to the product page, there's one other feature I do want to show you, and it's called Zoom Images. So similar to other themes, you can click on the different thumbnails. But when you scroll over the image, it actually automatically zooms live right on the image without opening like another light box. So it's a really nice way to view the detail of a product image. So if I click on another one and just scroll over it, see I can move my mouse around and just zoom in on the picture. So this will be dependent on having high quality images. So you can zoom in more or less depending on uh, the resolution of the pictures that you're using for your products. So hopefully that gives you a quick overview of Shopify themes and some of the different features you can find in free themes and premium themes. And don't forget that once you choose a theme, there's still a lot of customization that can be done within your Shopify account by going to themes and then going to customize theme. And that'll open this uh, theme style editor where you can go through and choose different presets. So these are the uh, styles that are included with each theme that I mentioned. You can change the colors. You can change the topography on the site. Uh, so every theme will be a little bit different in uh, what types of fonts it includes and what customization you can do. So I'm not going to go through all of this in detail, but you can kind of scroll through this style editor and see all that's available. You could change borders, the header navigation. There's a lot of home page uh, features and options with each theme, like customizing the slideshow, featured collections. And then you can also customize product pages, collection pages, and, and change some things with the, uh, the cart as well. So I may get into that in another video, but just so you know, as you investigate these themes, they can be changed a little bit uh, using this theme editor. So I hope that helps you in investigating Shopify and kind of understanding what your e-commerce store is going to look like when you're all done. And hopefully it gives you some confidence in seeing that with Shopify, you're going to be able to create a great looking website without spending tons of money on a custom design. If you're wondering how Shopify actually works in terms of adding products and customizing your theme and setting up payment, uh, make sure to check out my other Shopify video that's a full walkthrough and review of the Shopify back office when you log into your account and uh, do all the things you need to do to set up and manage your store. So I'll link to that other video uh, in the video description below. So if you found this video useful, make sure to click the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. And uh, make sure to also subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.